Hi everyone. Today I'm going to give a quick demo for prototype of Supra's new trustless bridge and cross-chain decks. Let's start by understanding how our system works. In the example we're going to consider, a client wants to convert a certain amount of ETH on Ethereum to apt on aptos and SWE on SWE. The client starts by sending their ETH to the Supra Vault smart contract on Ethereum. In this transaction, they specify that their ETH should be split into apt on aptos and SWE on SWE, providing specific amounts and destination addresses for each chain. Smart contract then checks that the client has provided sufficient ETH to cover both transfers and sets the conversion rate for each according to the prices reported by our Dora Oracle. It then emits events containing the details of each transfer. The Vault Watcher, which in this case is an Ethereum Lite client, listens for these events via RPC. Upon observing new events, it proves that they are authentic by ensuring that the block containing them has been signed by the current Ethereum Sync Committee. It then sends the events and their corresponding proofs to Supra's SMR for translation into a concise proof that can be verified on any chain. The SMR generates this proof during consensus after verifying the authenticity of the proofs relayed by the Vault Watcher. The proof relayer retrieves these proofs from the Super SMR via RPC and redirects them to the Super Vaults on the destination chains. The Vault Smart contracts verify the concise proof for each event before transferring the requested funds to the specified addresses. So, let's see our product in action. We're going to use Remix to submit our transfer request to the Super Vault on the Ethereum Curly testnet. We want to convert 0.0002 ETH into the native currencies of Aptos and SWE. We're going to split this ETH evenly between the two chains and want to send the resulting Apton SWE to the addresses that you can see here. In this prototype, we've hard-coded the destination currencies and conversion rates, so we can expect to receive 0.003 apt and 0.3 SWE on aptos and SWE, respectively. So, let's submit our transaction. Remix is telling us that our transaction has been confirmed, so let's double check on the Girly Block Explorer. Okay, so we can see our transaction has been included, and it's just showing success, so everything's looking good so far. Let's wait for the Vault Watcher to start processing the events. Our actual implementation will only process events that have full finality. But for the purposes of this demo, the Vault Watcher is just following the head of the Ethereum chain. This is fine for our purposes today and allows for this demonstration to proceed more smoothly. But in the end, our actual implementation will only process events that have full finality to ensure that the transactions can never be reverted. Okay, it looks like the Vault Watcher has observed the events. Now the consensus should output the new proofs momentarily. Here we go, okay. So we can see that the proof relayer has submitted 
transactions to both Aptos and Sui. Let's take a look at the DevNet Block Explorers to confirm. All right, looks like the transaction on Aptos was successful. And we can see that our uh, target account has indeed been credited with 0 0.03 out. So we just confirm by looking at the hex address here. And this matches our original hex address. Looks good. Let's check Sui as well. Okay, this also succeeded. And we can see that our target address has indeed been credited with roughly 0.3 Sui. I'm not exactly sure why this is uh, slightly less than 0.3 SWE. It might be to do with the way SWE manages gas fees. Um, but nevertheless, we can see that the transaction reported by the proof relay has succeeded and that it was sent to our target address as well. Okay, so that's the demo complete. Hope you all enjoyed it. Talk to you again soon.